All right, this one's going to be on this uh, script for WeChat. It's called buffers.pl. Um, I'll give you the description of it here. We get a uh, show, and it's called buffers.pl here. Basically, the, the, the description is a sidebar with list of buffers. So it shows you a list of the buffers or AKA channels that you have open or whatever. And uh, it makes it more convenient because by default, WeChat, it's, you know, they don't show you uh, your channels really well. All right. Anyways, we're going to install this. We're going to use uh, WeGit. If you don't know how to install WeGit, I'll post you a video in the description and learn how to do that first. And so we're gonna use WeGit and we're gonna install the, what is that, buffers.pl here. So install it. And now when you install it, it has this little um, sidebar on the side here, right? And basically these are the channels that I'm connected to. If I do like alt uh, two, I go to the links mint uh, help channel or whatever. If I do, you know, was it Alt three? Go to Boon two, Alt four, five, whatever, right? If you go to Alt one, um, you know, I have, uh, I guess, three different things here. So the one I'm connected to right now, it's uh, or the one, one buffer I'm at right now is the Spot Chat. So if you want to switch over to it, you can go. Was that Control X, right? And now we're in. What was that WeChat X again? We're going to Free Node. So that's how you switch between them. Right, so it's just Control X to switch between them for the console here, um, and you know this is by default is on the side, but if you want to put it at the top or the bottom, um, because I don't really like it on the side here, but if you want to put it at the bottom or something like that, when I when I use my Quake terminal, I like to put it in the bottom. Right, some people like it in the top, whatever, that's fine too. Anyways, what you gotta do is quit out of this first. Uh, but you know after you install it just quit out of it and what you want to do is go into what's that here? CD we chat And we'll list out some files here. What you want to do is edit your um, Your we chat config so we're gonna do I'm gonna use vim you can use nano or whatever it is you want to use but we're gonna use Vim here and we're gonna edit this file called we chat.conf in here you want to look for this um or well, the category is called what is that in brackets bars and at the bottom here or in, in the middle here there's this thing called buffers position by default is on the left side if you want it like you know some people like it at the top you can just type top I like it at the bottom here right and then save it we're gonna save it here and now if we start up WeChat it again it's going to put that thing at the bottom, right? So you can see that right now, uh, what we had in the side before, now is at the bottom. So we have, what is that? Spot chat, we chat and free node. And now it's going to connect to the other channels. So we'll wait for a few seconds. So there you go. It loads up and it connects to the other channels here at the bottom. Actually, you can pick it smaller here. But you can see that uh, it connects to other channels here, right? If I want to join another channel, let's say I want to join... Uh, not in here we go to control X it's in free node so let's say I want to join um, I don't know flex git here right it's gonna add another one so this is six so we can go alt six I can go there real quick you know alt two alt three whatever it is so I can skip around really quick uh, instead of the default way which I didn't really know what freaking channel I'm at until I looked at it uh, closely uh, right here it has a little I guess a uh, highlight for it and uh, much quicker for you know when you're looking at this from the command line and your eyes to say okay I'm in this channel and I can chat or whatever uh, so I thought that was better than the default way anyways that's what things called buffers uh, pl and like I said make sure you install we get uh, if you don't know how to install that there'll be a link in the description That'll be it for this one.